Welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you so much. I know it's been a little bit since I last uploaded and the reality is guys, is my schedule at work has been very busy, very inconsistent, but very, very busy. And uh, raising a small family here also keeps me busy as well. So with my priorities in order, you know, it takes me away sometimes from being in front of the camera here with you. And if you're wondering why I only have one fragrance today, don't fret, don't worry. I have plenty of, of lists coming and planned, so stay tuned for all that. Today, though, we are going to focus on a newly released fragrance from the Canadian brand Zoologist. It, this one's titled Chipmunk. I'm going to tell you all about it and tell you why it was love at first sniff for me. So yes, I love this perfume. It is absolutely incredible to me. I really do love it and I can't wait to share my thoughts with you. So stay right there. The review for Chipmunk comes up. I always do this. It already started. Thanks for staying tuned there with me, guys. Hey, if you're new here, I want to take a quick second to thank you, to welcome you as well. Those of you that are returning, you're amazing. Thank you so much. But uh, again, if you're new here, I like to have fun on the channel. You know, I act a little goofy at times. You know, we just, we have fun around here. We try not to take things so seriously. Uh, once in a while we do, and you know, I'll kind of let you know when that happens. But if you're into, you know, having fun and, you know, learning about men's grooming and fragrance, of course, which by the way, is the ultimate accessory to your wardrobe, you are absolutely going to love this channel. So go ahead, do me a favor, like, leave me a comment down below about the brand zoologist or, you know, whatever comment you would like to leave. Just keep it respectful, that's all. I don't ask for much, you know. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. You know, guys, a while ago, it, you know, it wasn't that long ago where uh, we here, we were experiencing the, the quarantine, the lockdown, if you will. And I know there's probably some of you that are watching that uh, maybe you're still in some sort of phase of lockdown or something of that nature, but... We were going a bit stir crazy, and I'm sure many of you can relate to that. And my girlfriend actually decided to, you know, get us out of the house. So what she discovered were these different hiking trails. And there's a reason why I'm telling you this story, but um, these different hiking trails, not only was it healthy and stimulating for all of us, you know, and um, it was great, but man, the memories just with the children, but also getting in touch with nature seeing these wildlife creatures and what you know the, the lifestyles they live throughout their daily life was just amazing to be able to walk alongside of them and you know take in all the uh the aromas that the outdoor have the outdoors have to offer us you know the the trees giving off their odor the smell of that damp earth the leaves the branches it's just incredible guys and if you're if you are into that sort of a thing. If you like nature, you're going to love this fragrance. This fragrance really encompasses everything relating to autumn and fall that I love so much. And it's just captured perfectly inside of this incredible bottle of perfume. And I've been wearing it for the past few weeks and I've been absolutely loving it. And I cannot wait to talk more about it with you. So why don't we do that? But hey, before we do that, I want to know, was there anything that you guys discovered when you were in lockdown phase or in quarantine, or if you're still in there? Was there a new hobby you discovered, something that you don't normally do that you discovered, or, you know, anything, anything you would like to share with me, please comment down below and let me know. And now, without further ado, let's get into uh, Chipmunk from Zoologist. I did something very uncharacteristic of me. Uh, I actually did reach out to the uh, the perfumer here, Pia Long, and I uh, just asked her, hey, Pia, where, where did you draw inspiration from? And she kindly wrote back to me, and she wrote back quite an amazing, what I would consider an article, really. And um, I briefly, you know, wrote some things down that I thought that you, as the, the audience, would care to hear. It's nice to get an in-depth, yeah, you know what, you could read a brief or a summary of what this is, what a fragrance is supposed to smell like. But in the end, if all that comes off as bleh to you, you really don't care about it, then it's irrelevant and it doesn't matter. Here, what she wrote to me, I had already been wearing the fragrance and I just wanted to get an idea where she drew inspiration from because I am so in love with this particular fragrance. 
And what she wrote back was like, perfect. Wait till you guys hear this. So she writes, there are messages hidden in this perfume for forest lovers. See, I was telling you, the outdoors, gotta love them. But anyway, she goes on further to explain the kind of forest that she imagined was somewhere between reality and fantasy. I hope this perfume brings joy and calmness to people. We need both right now. And you know, she couldn't be more right on there with that finishing statement that we, we need both joy and calmness. And um, for me, that's what this bottle of fragrance has been doing for me. Um, I, I can confidently say that to you, no problem there. You have the packaging behind me here. So you have the sleeve and then the, the inside of the box and of course the, uh, the top there. You can actually authenticate the, uh, the batch code on the bottom of the box. It's going to be right here on that little sticker there for you. And of course, it'll be on the, uh, the bottom of the bottle as well. So this is a 60 milliliter bottle or two fluid ounces. This retails for 165 US. You know, Zoologist being a Canadian brand, you can buy directly from them. They ship to the United States, no problem there. Um, I did go ahead and pick this one up at uh, Lucky Scent, so I did buy this. The, uh, the brand did not send this to me or uh, anything like that. Thick, heavy glass, nice cap. It, you're not going to want to pick this one up from the cap. It does not, you know, fit snug, but it's not like a, you know, secure fit there. Logo on top, the atomizers are great. They're pressurized, you know, how much I love that. And I love the smell of this perfume. When it opens up, Oh, I'm also, I'm going to put the notes up here on screen because I'm going to kind of the direction where I'm taking the channel with fragrance. I'm going to tell you what I experienced instead of just blabbing off notes because in the end, that doesn't matter. It's all about the experience. Notes to me don't really matter. So 2021 launch, as I said, the perfumer here, Pia Long, um, this one opens up. You have a lot going on. There's some spices you're going to experience in the top. There's some earthiness going on. You, you really need to take a couple of minutes. You, you definitely wanna let this sort of settle, not quite dry down, but settle in. And what you're going to notice is you have this damp earth, these, uh, these, this earthy accord that's going on here. Very damp, very earthy-like, very realistic of what you would smell if you were going to take a hike in the, uh, in, in the, in the outdoors, like on a hiking trail, like I had mentioned there before. Um, you're also going to experience an abundance of trees photo realistic oak absolute here some fir balsam adding like this piney woodiness here this is just fantastic guys you have spices in here so you have some warm some calming spice you have cardamom of course you have nutmeg um there's even i i get it um a, a, a nuance here of authentic cinnamon like a cinnamon bark or uh, cinnamon sticks something like that but a very authentic cinnamon type feel or smell that's in this here now i know zoologist is known for throwing some weird stuff at us um I'm, I'm, like i said this is my first full bottle purchase from zoologist i only sampled b b i was like eh, it's okay but it's not great this is an absolute love for me but anyway they're known to throw some of these weird wacky notes at us here you have um, this anim these animal notes, right? So the animal notes come off to me as more of a musk, but the way that it's blended, it's not so animatic to where it's off-putting. I'm not a really big fan of uh, animalistic notes at the moment. I'm not saying that uh, I'm throwing that out the window, but here, because you have this um, benzoin resin in the base, um, along with a couple other uh, ingredients there, it comes off as more of a creamy, vanillic musk. That's kind of what's going on in the base. Also, you have some cedarwood, again, you know, with the woody theme here. You have patchouli, you have vetiver adding to that earthiness, and you also have a distinct nuttiness going on here, like a fresh hazelnut that's going on here. And Man, guys, this stuff is just phenomenal. I, in my opinion, I think uh, Pia has created a masterpiece. You can see I've put a huge dent in the past uh, month. If I did weekly rotation videos, which I'm not a fan of doing, uh, so I won't be doing that. But if I was doing them, this would have been in there all four weeks. The past month that I've had this, I've worn it at least once. It was my scent of the day today. That's why for those of you that follow me on Instagram, today being Thursday night, you didn't see anything from me because 
I already posted enough. I talked about it enough there, so I wanted to give it the spotlight here. I know you guys are going to want to know what this performs like. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be honest with you here. It's moderate. This isn't something to where you are going to go in a room and you're going to choke people out and people are going to be able to smell you for miles and stuff like that. It's not that type of a fragrance. It's, it, But it's not so much of an intimate type of fragrance as well because it doesn't it's not a skin scent by any means but i guess what i'm trying to say it's a moderate projector you're really going to notice it and smell it for the first you know two or three hours it's moderate you know and then for the remaining two hours so i get about five to six hours on skin usually and i get about a full day's wear so i would say eight nine hours on clothes so yeah it does last a lot longer on clothes on me um, just in my experience than it does on skin but if you're looking for an all-day type of a fragrance with what I had mentioned with uh, you know the the woody the earthy tones there along with this nuttiness and this vanillic undertone there and the base in combination with that that musk that animalistic musk that's not so animalic um, in the base there you're going to love this you are absolutely going to love this I would go as far as to say and recommend to you that this 100% needs to be on your fragrance wish list this year. This is one that you must experience and try for yourself. Uh, again, I can't stress it enough. If you are into earthy fragrances and woody fragrances, you need to try this. This stuff is just, um, it's been mind blowing to me. I know that it seems like a simplistic formula and it kind of is, but it's also unique and complex in a way, in, in the way that this does have a journey. It's not really linear. So you're going to be able to catch tra different traces at different moments, different nuances at different moments. This is an exceptional perfume. It's well blended. And I, she created a masterpiece, in my opinion. And uh, that's pretty much what I have to say about it, guys. This it was a uh, grand slam of a blind buy. I bought this just purely based on reading up on it on their uh, on the zoologist website, and I thought this would be uh, perfect for me for fall time, for winter time, and yeah, it is. And I've been thoroughly enjoying this. This is a great smell, and uh, yeah, I love it, guys. I hope you have the opportunity to check this out. You definitely need to try this. Let me know in the comments below if you had sampled it, if you've tried this fragrance. Let me know what your experience has been like. Again. If you tried things from Zoologist, let me know. I know this is a brand that I'm not super familiar with, so I am definitely going to be checking out more offerings from the brand. I really wanted to experience uh, Squid this summer. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but it's never too late, right? Guys, that's the end of the review. I hope you enjoyed that. I have plenty more fragrance-related and hair-related content coming up, so please do me a favor again. If you didn't, if you forgot or you were busy, Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell um, on your way out there before you leave. I would really sincerely appreciate that. Until next time, guys, love each other, take care of each other, respect everyone. I'll see you very soon. Peace.